What's going on YouTube? Welcome to another Get Loose Garage video. In this one, this is part three of the front end restoration. Um, I run into a few problems. Uh, ball joints were seized up. I had to borrow some torches, cut a bunch of stuff, but we got it. Let's get into it, guys. What's up, guys? So I got the uh, rotor off. Um, now I'm trying to get this whole piece off here. And uh, I had to cut the nut on this ball joint. Um, and I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna get that one in there. I tried cutting it, I can't really get in there that well. So, I'm kinda at a standstill for the moment until I kinda figure out what to do, but yeah, this is what I'm currently dealing with and how far I am, so. Um, we'll try and figure it out and uh, keep moving forward. All right, guys, we're back here working on the project truck. Um, my buddy let me borrow this. Or my buddy let me borrow a set of torches so I can get in here and uh, melt that nut away. I think I showed you a clip of that already, but uh, we'll get that torched off and try and get this steering knuckle off of here. Still having trouble getting it off of here. Um, got everything cut that I needed to. But uh, I think I'm gonna call it a night tonight. And we'll get back at this another day. Finally got it off. Um, had to torch basically everything. Yeah, it was a pain in the butt. I still gotta knock out this bolt but it's seized um yeah going good all right guys we got the camber bushing out we got the ball joint bolt that was seized up in there out and we sprayed the whole inside of the axle with fluid film uh next up is probably cleaning this up this knuckle getting it sandblasted or um i don't know i, I want to get it sandblasted because i don't think i'll be able to wire wheel the inside of here very well so i don't know kind of see i might end up tearing apart the whole other side and get both of them sandblasted at the same time not really sure yet kind of just waiting on parts kind of playing it by ear but yeah that's where we're at all right guys we got all of our parts that we need um this side is good to go i just have to press out the u-joint and the axle for my new outer axle to go on there and then uh i got my buddy's torches i still gotta cut this knuckle off and then press that ball or press that U joint out of the axle as well. Put the new outer axle on. And then we should be good to assemble everything. The reason I'm not going with hardened axles and re redoing my whole differential and everything is because I don't plan on doing heavy 4 by 4 Like uh, it's going to be a pavement princess and. I'm probably never going to use 4x4 four four unless I have to, unless the rear end blows and I have to get it home or something. So that's kind of my plan behind it. I'll probably re-gear my rear end and then just probably won't, won't ever even engage my 4x4. Four four. Um, but that's the plan to get it kind of rolling so we can move to the back, get the back done run fuel lines, fuel tanks, regulators, get it all set up for uh, the engine. I actually just put a new wiper motor on. It was like 20 bucks. I figured you can't beat that. There's the old one. 
that's it. So it's coming along slowly but steadily. All right, guys, we've been working on the passenger side. We cut both the ball joints and uh, got that knuckle off of there. So I got to press the ball joints out of there. Then I'm going to send both knuckles to go get sandblasted. And then <clears throat> I just got to figure out how to get out these U joints that are shot and uh, get my new outer axles on and new U joints. So, and then everything else, hub, rotor, everything. I got it all over here. So, uh, so I got those steering knuckles off. I took them to a place to get sandblasted and they're three weeks backed up. There ain't no other place around here. Um, yeah, so I'm waiting on those, but I got the passenger side all done now. I got everything knocked out. Um, I got all the U-joints out of the axle shafts, so now really it's just putting the new U-joints in, the new uh, outer axles, and then uh, once I get the knuckles back, start reassembling everything, so that's kind of where I'm at. I'll show you what it looks like here. Here's the driver's side. Here's the passenger side, driver side axles right here. New outer axle, new outer axle. But yeah, just got all that stuff pressed out. So we're good to go at the moment. All right, guys, we're gonna get these U joints installed right here and right there here we go we got it into the uh outer shaft here got both the clips in um we're gonna throw it onto the uh axle shaft there really how i do these is i just take all the caps off be careful that none of your little needle bearings fall over or nothing and then just slide it in pound the cap and make sure you hold that uh u joint so the once again the pins don't fall out or whatever and get all screwed up pound it in pop your clip in and yeah pretty pretty easy really like all i did was use a hammer and to get the old ones out i cut them with a torch and pressed them pressed them out so pretty easy but we're going to get these done, and then, like I said, we're probably going to be at a standstill for a while. But, uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys, so uh, I got the steering knuckles back from the sandblasting place. Uh, I threw some primer on them, painted them black, and then threw uh, two, two clear coats on there. Those are just about done. I'm gonna let them dry up a little bit more, then press in the ball joints. Um, these washers in here, uh, I welded a little rod onto the washer because the washer's too small for the bottom of these coil springs. So I welded a little rod onto them. That way it definitely goes over the uh, bottom of the coil spring. Not that I'm worried about it popping off or anything, but just to be safe. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get those on, on there. Get the ball joints in them, and then probably put those on the truck. We got both outer axles and U-joints all put on both sides. Bingo. We're getting there on the front end here yeah got the ball joints and both the knuckles here getting ready to start assembling it all right guys we got our seals in the end of our uh, spindles here I had to pr uh, use some RTV because it was kind of a 
not tight in there. It was sliding around pretty good and loose. So we'll let those set. Um, we got our seals on our outer shaft and our spacer there. We got our ball joints all greased up. Alrighty guys, we got the uh, steering knuckles back on. I'm short three more or another set of these. I ordered them. They're not gonna be here for a week, so I'll get one that one side finished up, and then we'll leave the other side until we get these, I guess. All right, guys, we got both the spindles on. Uh, packed them with grease, put them up there, and uh, yeah, they went on really nicely. Now it's just putting the hub and rotors on. And I can, uh, I haven't tightened those coil spring nuts yet, so I'm gonna go grab some more extensions from the store so I can reach that. Tighten those down, finish these up, throw the tires back on, probably wheel it outside. I'm gonna power wash all of this clean it up, spray it with some uh, paint, and then spray it with some uh, fluid film. And then I'm all done with the front for now. I'm gonna move to the back, push it back inside, move to the back, jack it up, install my six inch lift in the rear here, put new shocks in, and I'm also gonna get ladder bars that go from the axle to the frame. Got my bearing packed with grease and my uh, wheel seal on there. I'm gonna grease up the spindle, get my other bearing packed with grease, and then we'll throw it all on there and tighten it up. Got it all back together. Looks pretty good. Gonna throw the uh, caliper and pads on and then uh, hook up the brake line and Call this side good. All right, guys. We got the caliper pads, brake line hooked up. This whole side is completed. I'm currently hooking up the uh, tie rods. This side, I have both the bearings in. I'm just waiting on the uh, nut, lock nut thing kit to hold on everything all right guys we ended up getting that uh lock nut set in and uh we got the hub all together we got the new caliper and pads on extended lines just about ready to throw the tire on this one jack it up get it off these blocks all righty guys I pulled it out earlier, power washed everything, sprayed it with some spray paint, went underneath, sprayed underneath with some uh, bed liner. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, this was a tough one for sure. Uh, it took way longer than I thought, but we got it all back together. The only thing is I'm going to have to order adjustable camber bushings and put those in before I drive it on the road. So I'm going to have to tear it all apart again just to do those. But for now, we're good. Um, we're going to move on, work on some other things, get the truck a little further along rather than being stuck on one thing for a while. So, uh, yeah, the uh, next video should be the... Uh, rear suspension and uh all that good stuff installing the lift new bushings add a leaf yep um yeah have a good one guys take it easy thanks for watching